What's up everyone? So it may not seem like it and obviously there's still a lot that can be improved in your life to make it much better. But like you're not, generally this is the best time in all of history to be alive as of so far. Obviously there are little things that aren't perfect but generally if you look at things and look at the details we are very fortunate to live now versus most times if not all times in the past. If you look at the richest people that lived 50 years ago or 100 years ago or 500 years ago, they're probably not living as well as the average person today. In terms of the technology that was available to them, uh, the resources and the entertainment that was available to them, the access and ability to uh, fly to different parts of the world, to talk to people that lived thousands of miles away. You can go on and on and on. The standard of living has increased and that's just how it is for, uh, again, first world countries. Third world countries, things get a little bit different. But still, you know, let me read you this uh, little article that's on the back of this Chipotle bag I have. It's by Steven Pinker. Um, I wonder if any of you guys have actually bothered to read this. It's on most Chipotle bags. It's easy to get discouraged by the ceaseless news of violence, poverty, and disease, but the news presents a distorted view of the world. How many times have I told you guys that, by the way? I mean, it's, it is one of those things that I have noticed, and it's one of those things that you have to be aware of. Most businesses, including the news, are, in, are they're made to make money. And something like the news, they have their own purposes in mind. They, they have their own uh, incentives in mind. And therefore, they cater their, their news to uh, attract the most attention, to make the most money. And so they distort things. If it's Ebola or some disease, they'll distort it to seem like everyone's about to die. So that you, they make the most money out of it. Even though the reality of the situation is that there may be more important news articles and uh, the real case of Ebola or any other disease is not like that. Anyhow, news is about things that happen, uh, not things that don't happen. You never see a TV crew reporting that a country isn't at war or that a city hasn't had a mass shooting that day or that millions of 80-year-olds are alive and well. So true. Um, so true, so true. It, again, it's sort of that confirmation or survival bias. There's plenty of books on all the different psychological biases out there that are uh, there on a day-to-day -day basis and people just fail to realize them and distort your perception of things. Um, one of them being a book by Robert Cialdini. Check that out. Anyhow, the only way to appreciate the state of the world is to count. How many incidents of violence or starvation or disease are there as a proportion of the number of people in the world? And the only way to know whether things are getting better or worse is to compare those numbers at different times over the centuries and decades. Do the trend lines go up or down? As it happens, the numbers tell a surprisingly happy story. Violent crime has fallen by half since 1992 and 50-fold since the Middle Ages. So true. I see, uh, I guess one thing I want to comment on is that um, what I believe is happening is that a lot of these stories that are told by media and the news, whether it's uh, anything outrageous or scandalous from sex tape scandals to leaked sexual photos or footage to mass murders, killings, all those things like rapes, um, professors or teachers uh, having philanderous relationships with their students or underage children. What is really going on in my, in my hypothesis is that this has always been going on and it's not that things have been getting worse. It's simply that media is expressing it and making it relevant uh, and making it apparent when in reality, it has always been going on for thousands and thousands of years. But what's really going on now is that with the advent of technology and um, 
and DNA evidence, fingerprint evidence, and mass media being able to promote it and shove it down thousands, if not millions of people's throats, is that people are more aware of it, causing this to be more scandalous, causing uh, it to be much more likely that you will be found out. And again, same thing goes with audio recordings, recording these scandalous events, providing evidence, and therefore providing more evidence for all these instances, in including uh, those priests who molest uh, the children in, in churches, thus making the people who do this much more uh, scared that they'll be caught, re thus reducing the amount that's going on. Again, this is my theory, but generally what I'm saying is it, it's been going on for a while, and technology has just sort of made it more apparent, and in reality, according to this article at least, things have been going down. Now back to the article. Quote, better, unquote, does not mean, quote, perfect, unquote. Too many people still live in misery and die prematurely. And new challenges such as climate changes confront us. But measuring the progress we've made in the past emboldens us to strive for more in the future. Problems that look hopeless may not be. Human, ingenui human ingenuity can chip away at them. We will never have a perfect world, but it's not romantic or naive to work towards a better one. So very true. I mean, if you look at the richest people in the world today versus the richest people hundreds if not thousands of years ago a lot of them not all of them but a lot of them are choosing to spend their wealth much more uh helpfully than they did in the past and again um just look at it bill gates has devoted billions of dollars along with warren buffett to fighting uh the toughest problems that face the world population as a whole, such as malaria, such as other widespread diseases that cause the most death. And it gets very complicated very quickly uh, in terms of charity and philanthropy and what's really helping and not. But he's devoting a lot of time and energy reading countless books on healthcare to solving these problems. What did the richest people a thousand years ago do? They spent their time killing, raping, and using their money to, prof to profit themselves. And things are changing in a better direction. And am I saying everything is perfect? No. There's still people who have hundreds of millions of dollars um, and spend it doing what they want. And is, is that wrong? No. It's their money. They can do what they want with it. But uh, the, uh, that's probably not the best example. Uh, uh, more important than that, it's there's people out there who uh, spend their time um, doing horrible things, like I've mentioned before, violence, killing, shooting, uh, mass murders, um, genocide. There's this uh, female in Africa who found out she got AIDS, so she d decided to infect as many people as she could, and she was boasting that she infected over 200 people, um, which is kind of stupid because I feel like because she boasted, now everyone knows, and now she's going to get caught and arrested. But that sort of stuff happens, and then there's disease and killing, and all sorts of bad stuff too. Um, but generally, in terms of our life, we're living much better in a lot of ways that you haven't noticed and have taken for granted. The food you eat, the drinks, those things are manufactured, shipped from all over the world. A lot of small things, like if you buy stuff from Costco, uh, if you buy like a frozen lasagna by Kirkland Signature, all those things have to be extracted from the earth like there's like, like if you look at a kirkland lasagna from costco there's thousands of ingredients in it from the diff the five cheeses they use to the layers of bread to all that fancy stuff that has to be made and manufactured and shipped and produced and extracted from the ground and grown and all that is done for you and on and on and on from technology to your health care, to uh, retirement, to the money you're getting. And again, it's not perfect. And again, we're still moving towards getting it better. Um, but again, at, uh, it's kind of hard to say this, but generally, you know, if uh, things were perfect and you got everything you wanted as soon as you asked for it, what kind of world would that be where everything was just absolutely perfect and there's no point to strive for anything? Ultimately, I guess it would be 
it might be uh, better, but I don't think that's something that's possible. And we, and we have a long way to go, and we can get better at it and do better. And um, I think it's somewhat of a good thing to have goals and strive to them and uh, overcome obstacles because, again, it's a lot more fun. And more so than that, um, we have a long way to go, but, yeah, we've come a long way. As always, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.